hypertension the silent killer for a reason because you can have elevated blood pressure and have no symptoms you may not feel it until something untoward happens and even if you don't say have a stroke over time, elevated blood pressure has a negative consequence on all of your blood vessels throughout your body. So your kidneys, especially your heart and your brain. So what I recommend, so I always talk about healthy lifestyle and I'll talk about those pillars too, but first things first is you should measure your blood pressure. And I recommend having a blood pressure cuff at home. You can get one at the pharmacy, you can order one online, but just periodically measure your blood pressure so you have an idea of what your baseline is. And if you find that your readings are elevated, then it's something you should discuss with your primary care provider. So what can you do to prevent this though? Because there are things that you can do that can help. So blood pressure is very amenable to lifestyle. So I always talk about eating the rainbow fruits and veggies, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds. When you make these foods the mainstay of what you consume, so that should be the main part of what you consume, which is the key. Which means that when you consume that way, it, it has room for other foods, but those foods should be the mainstay. I look at it as like your protective armor, right? Helps protect your gut health, lower inflammation, improve your, your vascular flow. Specific foods that help with your blood pressure in general, there's many things, but green leafy vegetables, right? They have nit nitrates, which convert to nitric oxide, which help vasodilate. So they help relax those blood vessels. Beets, really good for you. Hibiscus tea can actually lower your blood pressure. It has to be really dark, three tea, three tea bags, but that actually can is a natural blood pressure lower. Other things are moving your body regularly. Aerobic exercise helps you know improve your blood vessel capacity, so relaxing those blood vessels again. Mindfulness and stress management. I cannot impress upon that enough because we are so technology dependent these days. We spend so much time connected technology back my phone right here, that we don't connect enough to nature and really help regulate our nervous system. Everybody should be doing some type of mindfulness or joy snacks, they're really powerful. But joy is medicine. But doing that every day, doing some type of mindful activity, whether it's spending 10 minutes outside in nature, looking up at the sky, taking a few deep breaths, doing that regularly is really important and disconnecting as much as possible and just being present. So letting go of the technology for an hour or two a day, really important. Sleep, protecting your sleep. Sleep is something that we often neglect, but all of the lifestyle pillars have a role in helping avoid hypertension, developing elevated blood pressure, but also towards, if you have it, helping manage it better. So hope this was helpful. If so, let me know. Follow for more. Thanks.